Well, in today's video, I want to share some things with you that have made my life much easier or have really enhanced the quality of my life. They're all different kinds of things. We're gonna go from room to room. So Stuart, what do you say? Let's get started. Today's video is sponsored by Thrive Market. As you guys know, moving ain't for sissies. Maybe that's why I hadn't done it in 32 years. But I have learned a few things along the way that I kind of wish I had known beforehand. Some of these are product tips, things that I have discovered that have really helped make moving easier and are helping me get settled into my new space in an organized way. If you have followed me for any length of time, you know that in the previous home, I had a fabulous accessories closet. Stu Stuart, do you remember I the do. fabulous accessories closet, which was a small space with slot wall dividers that I could then in a very organized way, hang all of my jewelry, my belts, I eat my accessories. So even though this is a fabulous closet, no such thing exists here. So I had to come up with an idea to simulate that accessories, accessories closet. And I think I have done it in a relatively clever and inexpensive way, i.e. my first tip, which are these trouser hangers. They're those velvet ones that you can get off of Amazon. We will put a link to all of these product products below. This is my product number one. You can also get them at places like Bed Bath & Beyond, or obviously if you have a local source, always try to shop there first or at a thrift store. Um, so what I decided to do was just use these as my hangers for my jewelry. So I've got my beloved hoops. I've got all of my French hook earrings on here and they just fit perfectly. You just give them a little nudge and they just fit perfectly over the runner where the trouser typically hangs. And then all I did was I just got some command hooks That'll be easily removable if I decide to relocate, relocate these or if the busyness of the way that the display looks gets to me after a while, I can remove them or I can do whatever I want with them because these command hooks are great. I also got these online and we will put a link to those. But one tip. So I ordered some and they were perfect for this application. So you'll see how they, they come out of the ends. Stuart, can you oh, see? Oh, to put, bra yeah, bracelets yeah, okay. on and off. So you can yeah. put bracelets on and off. I could put necklaces on and off. And that way I can access some of those from either side that are down in the depths of this one runner. And then all you do is you just put it back into place. And it doesn't really even matter if you put it in that tightly. Sometimes on the go, I'm not always as exacting as I should be. But it works brilliantly. So since it worked so well... I thought, oh, I need to order more. Well, what I did was I ordered them, but make sure if you want to use them for bracelets and for necklaces, that you get the ones that are removable, that the runner is removable on the end. So like, yeah, they can see the difference like right this there one. They connect, okay, yeah. versus this one, which is solid. These are great for earrings. They are perfect for sunglasses. This is a great hack. You could put one of these in your coat closet. You could put one of these wherever and it's a great hack for your sunglasses. Here's another great hack. When you travel, you know how, how your fine necklaces always get all tangled up? Oh wow. Okay, just put them in the toilet paper roll and that will keep them from getting tangled up. Simplicity. Simplicity, simplicity. Reuse, recycle, repurpose. Yeah. So that is my hack number one. If you want to make a jewelry hanger for your jewels, you can see I'm still in the process. I've got more space to hang the other ones. And as I'm doing it, I haven't really gone through these, but I am definitely purging a lot of them. So that's my hack number one. Use these trouser velvet covered hangers as jewelry display.
Okay, this is a really fun product that I just recently have discovered. So I'm feeling pretty smug because we've just been here about a month and most of my really prized pieces of art are already hung, like this gorgeous Canyon de Chez oil that's in our bedroom. But I wanted a picture light or a portrait light above it that would enhance its beauty that much more, but I didn't want to go through the hassle of tearing up the wall, having an electrician out here, and getting what are often really expensive expensive picture lights to hang over it. So I discovered these. A friend of mine sent me the link and I will of course provide it for you. And these are remote controlled battery operated picture lights. You can just use the remote to turn them on and off. And then what I like about it additionally is that you can set it for one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, and you can control then how long the battery life is. Now, I'm not tall enough right now to reach it without a ladder, but they're on a bracket that sits just behind that brass or gold rectangle, and all it does is just lift off. And I just plug it in to recharge it, and then I put it back on. Could not be easier. And I don't have these on all of the time time. So, so I guess even though we'd always like battery life to be a little bit longer or the charge to last a little bit longer, this is sufficient for what I, what I require in my life because typically this is only on at night for an hour or two or when I have guests. I got a number of these. In fact, I put in my first order and I liked them so much that I ordered more. And we will put, uh, we will put a link to these. Again, they're relatively inexpensive. They're not difficult to hang and you can buy them in multiples. So at least at this point, I've had these for about three weeks and I am very enthusiastic about them. Stuart, another reason I love it is because it also illuminates my beautiful orchid arrangement that our darling Phoebe put together, helped us put together. If you haven't watched that video, please do. We did it at Calvert's the other day and I just love it. And, and so just a little bit of illumination along the tips of the flower of the orchid enhance its beauty just as much as the painting itself. Thrive Market, what is it? Well, it's an online membership-based grocery store that has at the core a mission to make healthy living easy and perhaps more importantly, affordable to everyone. Sometimes something that's not always easy to do. I'm a person that hates to go to the grocery store, so Thrive is just a huge solution to that problem. I don't wanna find the time to go to the grocery store and I don't really wanna spend time looking looking for sometimes those very specific things that are important to me to maintain my healthy eating habits and my healthy lifestyle. And a lot of times organic products, they can be really expensive and pricey in the grocery store. Well, Thrive can help you cut your grocery bill by over 30%. Well, the ones that I have really been relying on heavily are those ready to eat nutritious snack items. I don't know how many of the coconut oil potato chips that I've gone through or the cauliflower pretzel sticks. These are just really yummy. They kind of satisfy my urge for crunchiness. I also adore this grain-free granola. Now, I also, this time, instead of just the ready to eat stuff, I got things that will be great for when I start cooking again. I've got some bone broth. I, I just adore their organic olives. Again, those are kind of ready to eat. A lot of their spices. I'm going to have my own taco night coming up. I got a lot of their soups. Their healthy organic lentil soup and their tomato bisque. So if you want to take advantage of all of the wonderful features of Thrive Market, then just click the link in my description box or go to thrivemarket.com slash lindavotter to get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60 when you join Thrive Market today. Okay, Stuart, this is a twofer, or actually it's a, it's a threefer. In one of our, our previous videos, I showed these massive bulletin boards that, uh, that I bought from Amazon. I mean, they're, they're huge. You can see that they consume practically this entire wall, which is what I wanted, to, wanted them to do. And I don't care about covering them in fabric or painting them or anything like that, though my logo is on 
and will be on some of them. That's kind of a fun thing that we did. I hadn't seen that till now. That's oh, really? Cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, you in told the, me you were gonna, but I hadn't seen you. Well, in the process of doing this, a lot of you asked about the link to these, and we will put a link below. They're not really inexpensive. I think they were like sixty-nine dollars a piece. But look at this. They cover the entire wall. They're both functional and will eventually, not right now, be beautiful. As I begin to compose my mood board, right now I'm still in the process, hectic process of moving. Things are just stuck on there. But I really love these. Obviously, you could get the same effect on a much smaller scale by getting smaller cork boards. But I really love the way they look. Stuart, you said you wanted some for your... I do, and I was just having the thought that maybe this is a decent representation of your current mood. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, it is. Right here, this is kind of how I feel about life. A little mixture of beauty, but a lot of you mess. You call it a mood board. This is actually might be accurate. <laughs> Pretty accurate. Very much so. This is my chaotic, messy mood right now. I haven't even turned my calendar yet because, Stuart, it's March 1st today. Oh, I know. And by the way, you guys, this is a heads up. Someone has a birthday coming up in the not too distant future, and it's easy to remember because it's on April Fool's Day. So its birthday is April first. So that's that's this. I absolutely love them. They used to be out in the studio that we had before, but we never really used them to their maximum capability. They will be much more useful here and hopefully might even inspire a little bit of organization on my part. <laughs> the other product that I wanted to show you, okay, I love this table. I had, and I've not bought too many uh, I have not purchased too many new pieces of furniture for this home. I am trying to reuse most of what I have. And in my very messy office right now, you can see that I have so, so many pieces of this wicker that all belonged to my second mom. And it's, it's pretty much the showcase in my office. I had a piece of wicker here that was not painted, but I really didn't like the way it looked. It was, it was too deep. I had too much wicker going on, too much texture going on. And I wanted this to match another product that I'm going to show you. So this is just an unfinished sideboard, very simple, has almost a shaker aesthetic. And I got this at Home Depot. It was very inexpensive. We'll put the link below and they just sent it right to my house. So it is functional. It would be great inside or outside. I like its clean, good looks. It will look even better when I get this area styled and I will of course show it to you. Stuart, let's move on to our next product. Well, Stuart, I may be absolutely uh, in a state of, of um, pineapple upside down. <laughs> That's how I feel. Pineapple upside down cake here in my office, but nevertheless, I still have some beautiful flowers. <laughs> that you do. Because I, I just have to. These are wax flowers from Trader Joe's. This is my next product. It was really kind of my muse for this office and I cannot speak highly enough of these. These are the iconic Billy bookcases from Ikea. They are absolutely wonderful. They look so much more expensive than they really are. And there are a million Ikea Billy bookcase hacks on Pinterest and around the web, around the web where you can really upgrade these. You can put uh, doors on them. You can paint them. You can put molding around them to make them look as if they're really built in. There's just all sorts of things that you can do. I wanted to, to leave them looking a little bit more just functional. I love this light birch veneer. It matches, as you may recall, it matches the Home Depot table that I got. And I also love it because unlike my really dark reproduction antique ones, these kind of make the, the space feel lighter, I think. Don't you, Stuart? And they don't make me feel claustrophobic in my office. And obviously they're pretty good looking. I'm just starting to put in my different books and things of that nature. I, I am still waiting for a couple of pieces. I have two short pieces that will come up to here to fill in either side of my wall. And then those will enable me to hang some things above them. So I'll have this stair-stepped look. Now, as I said, these are really inexpensive and I, I, I could be 
uh, I could be misquoting this, so make sure that you click on the link. But I think each section, Stuart, was just like, it was under $150. Ikea typically runs things Just like $107 or something, and I got three of them. Now, I did have them. There is some expense if you want to make sure that they're kind of professionally installed. I had some of my husband's office furniture employees come and not only put them together, but also make sure that they were really, really stable. And there's some expense in that. There's also some expense in the shipping if you don't have an Ikea store near you. So take that into account. Sometimes the shipping can be more than the product itself. Obviously not the case if you pick them up um, on site. But for me, I think it just turned out to be such a brilliant solution that I also got some black ones for the back guest bedroom, which I will show you later. Well, but compared I to buying something like this, outside of that this could get really really expensive right for this this these bookshelves oh it's if you bought them someplace way, oh 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 yeah. astronomically expensive yeah. if if you have I mean, and here's it did here's, cost money but it saved quite okay a bit. here's my question of the day All right, here we go. if any of you out there have ever purchased or had built for you custom built-in bookcases <laughs> you will know it is not an inexpensive proposition especially if like me you did them out of mahogany like I did at the other house these are just first of all I love the ease they just went up um, so quickly, so easily, and relatively inexpensively, and all it took was some, some careful measuring on my part, and it really kind of came together, I think, beautifully. And once I get them all styled and everything hung in here, then I will definitely show you what it looks like. Now, the other reason that I selected them is going to answer another question that you had. So, Stuart, if you would show these blinds over here. I've showed you these many times. I liked them so much that I decided to get them throughout the house. And by the way, a lot of you have asked what color this is. This is the Petite Rustica color. I think these ran, I'm going to guess, uh, 50 to 60, depending on the width and the length a piece. But again, a relatively inexpensive solution to... Uh, uh, a situation where I want as much light as possible, but I want a semblance of privacy, and I just love the filtered light. And right now, it's morning. There is fabulous east light coming in here. I just love them. And then I will have some shears put up, and I have installed a brass rod over it. I just don't have the shears yet. But I think they complement the bookcases really well, don't you, Stuart? Let's see if I can get them both in frame. And that was because I contemplated doing white, and I because I thought that would match. I am so glad. Tell me what you guys think. I am so glad I went with the birch veneer because I think it just is so in such great harmony with the window blinds and with what else is going on in here. And again, this is a light filled space. It's got lots of wicker. I want it almost to have a porch porch feel to it. And when I get it all completely organized and styled, I will show it to you. I'm still very much in a disruptive phase. So Stuart, I think that's it. I'll, we'll put all the links below and let's move on to the next product. Now, in all honesty, I may have showed you this one before, but it's important enough that I want to share it with you again. Stuart, you might have a better memory than I. This is one of these small electric throws. It's not an electric blanket. It's an electric throw. So it's a lot smaller. It's just lap size, and it's got a shirling inside or fleece inside. And I love this for so many different reasons. One, after a hard day of moving or whatever, and I just want to sit in a chair and read, or I get up in the morning and I'm cold, I'm doing my meditation. This is just wonderful to heat you up. It doesn't, um, I, I actually wish it would get a little bit warmer. So it doesn't overheat you, but it just gives you that comfy, cozy factor that I think is just so important because even though it looks like spring outside, we've still got lots of cold weather left. And this is perfect for that. It's also one of my favorite gifts to give if someone has just had surgery 
if someone has just had a baby, if someone, in other words, they have a real need for something that is very, very soothing and warm. And this is one of those, or, or even if they've just lost a loved one and they really need something that would make them feel as if they're, they're having, they have a warm embrace or a big hug. And I just love that. And this was inspired by this that is sitting behind me. This is my, my favorite just kind of shawl to throw over me because after my dad died, um, my sister sent this to me and she said, every time you put this on, I want you to think of dad giving you a big hug. And so then I thought, oh, I just loved that. And, and but, it, but this is just, I guess, an upgrade from that. This is not only blue and it's not only comfortable and cozy, but it also will keep you a bit warmer. So I think this is a great thing to treat yourself to or to treat someone that you love if they're going through a hard time. Well, lastly, this is not necessarily something to improve your life, but it will improve the quality of your life. And it's a beautiful book that I've discovered recently, Isabel Lopez Casada at home. It's about her Madrid home. She is a designer after my own heart. And I've gotten so many wonderful ideas just by flipping through the pages. What I love about it, it is kind of a combination of what I consider to be my aesthetic now, which is lots of, lots of profuse elegance, I guess, but also juxtaposed against some minimalism. Does that make any sense, Stuart? I, mean, I think it does. So, so just, yeah, okay, I think so. Oh, well, it did, uh, I mean, what, you made what, me question it as soon as you asked. Like, okay, well, yeah, well, what are you gonna say when I put you on the spot? That's true, But too. I love, I love the vignettes. I love the fact that it's got this light, bright, often white wall palette, and then she uses things like lots of wicker, lots of textural components. Here's an example of that, where it's just this warmth, but against kind of a minimalist, less cluttered, um, simpler aesthetic. I love this look as kind of a, of, of a mudroom idea. It's got great ideas. I, I just really love it and I would highly recommend it. Of course, I will put a link to it. So if you need a treat, if you want someone to gift you this for Easter, Stuart, do you want this for your birthday okay, it's on up. April 1st? Um, it would have been a brilliant uh, uh, Valentine's Day gift, but I just love it. And I wanted to share it for you, with you because definitely I'm getting a lot of inspiration for my own home from it right now, both inside and outside, by the way. So don't think it's just exclusive to, to the inside, but I really love it. There's probably too much, uh, too much glossy shine on some of these images, Stuart, but nevertheless, I'll give you just a little peek at some of the some of the vignettes inside. So there you go, just a few products that I've discovered recently and reminded myself of that I bought in multiples that have really improved my quality of life, either functionally or just from a beautification standpoint. I hope you enjoyed these.